bulb right here in the first socket. And then these little things, these are just plastic switch covers so that the switch matches the bulb. I'm gonna put the green one in the second socket and I'll put the green switch cover with that one. And I'll put the yellow light bulb just in the uh, third place and put the yellow switch cover to go with that one. And finally, we've got the red light bulb and the red switch cover. Now I'm gonna turn the whole thing on just like that. Now, this works exactly like you'd think. It's run in sequence. Each bulb is ran to the switch and then each bulb is ran to the battery. That means if you turn on the blue switch, the blue light goes on. If you turn on the green switch, the green one goes on. Turn on the yellow switch, the yellow one goes on. And if you turn on the red switch, the red one goes on. Now that's exactly what it should do. But here's where things get crazy. You see, even though it functions like you think it would function, I can pull out the bulbs and I can put them back in any order. So uh, where should I put the red bulb? Um, in this one. The red one and the third one. Where should I put the blue one? The first one. Blue with blue? Ooh. That's fine. Okay. Where should I put the green one? With the red one. Red one. And where should I put this one? Probably in the final spot. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Now, even though we've mixed up the order of these, if I want the blue one to light, I hit the blue one. Well, that runs in sequence still. But if I want the yellow one to light, I hit the yellow switch. What? And if I want the red one to light, I hit the red switch. And if I want the green one to light, I hit the green switch. It makes how does that... no sense at all. I have no idea how this works. Uh, this technology has been around since the 60s. This is predating any kind of smart bulbs or any kind of small remote systems that could possibly make this function. I really don't get it. And it show gets, me the bottom. It's just nothing. I can show you it gets even weirder than this. I'm going to take the caps off. And now I can put the caps on in any order. Where should I put the blue cap? Um, on the green. On the green. Where should I put the yellow cap? On the blue. On the blue. And the red one? On the yellow. On the yellow. And then I'll put the green one on the red. So now we've mixed up the bulbs. Now we've mixed, mixed up the caps on them. But if I want the blue one to light, they're complete opposite sides from each other. And yet, if I turn on the blue switch, the blue bulb lights up. <laughs> if I want the yellow one to light, I hit the yellow switch and the yellow one lights up. The red switch still operates the red bulb and the green switch still operates the green one. Look at this. This is just simple wiring. There's nothing to be seen here. It's just a board with switches and wires and a battery pack on it. And turn, you can turn off them as well. Turn off any one you want and it's going to turn off that bulb. Green turned off the green. Red turned off the red. Yellow turns off yellow. What? I have no idea. Now, it gets crazier because if I take these off and I put them back in order here, blue with blue, yellow with yellow, green with green, red with red. I haven't done anything else at all. I've done is switched over these plastic caps. And once again, it works in order. Blue does the blue, the yellow does the yellow, red does the red, the green does the green. You can, I, you can do it yourself even. Just, I don't understand. <laughs> I have no idea how that works.